Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. I'm Julie, your host, and I'm so delighted you could join us this week. My intention in doing this show is to provide information, insight, and comfort to people all over the world to help people answer life's unanswerable questions. And we have a whole bunch of callers on hold. So let's just go right to the phones. Our first caller is Corinne. Hi, Corinne. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Please tell everybody where you're located. Uh, I'm in Norman, Oklahoma. Norman University. Boomer Sooner, yes, right? Sir. Yeah, yes, good. Sir. Well, terrific. Well, well, welcome. You got a question for me? Yes. So my cat has pooped on my bed like the uh, three times in the past week. And um, he's usually, oh, when he usually does it in the past. He has either been, like, mad at me because I've been gone or his litter box is, like, empty or, like, overflowing or whatever. But, like, I just cleaned it out or, like, I've been home my usual time. So can you answer my question of why he's been doing that? Because I'm at a loss. Yeah. What, what's <laughs> what's his name, Corinne? So the litter box is good and you haven't been abandoning him, Right. Right. Um, his name is Toothless, right. and I promise you he's not Toothless. It's Tooth- from the dragon. How funny is that? Toothless. All right. <laughs> what I'm going to do, Corinne, is I'm going to connect to you in Oklahoma, and then I'm going to connect to Toothless. That is a funny, funny name. And we'll ask him. We'll see what's going on with him. So, all right. How I do this, Corinne, is I raise my vibrational level to the level of spirit because we're all spirits attached to a body having a human experience. And when we're attached to a body, we vibrate more slowly simply because the body has mass. So I raise my vibrational level. I watch a laser beam come from my body here in Birmingham, Alabama, and it's going to hook into you in Oklahoma, and then from you to Toothless. So here we go. Here comes my laser beam. All right, got you. Got the cat. Toothless, what's up with the pooping on the bed? He's saying you're never around. Have you been out of town or something? What's no, what's up um, with that, I that mean, you're I never around? I was gone around? on, like, do what? You. He's saying that you're never around. Um, I was gone like Friday night, but that was really my only time that I was gone. My, like my unusual time. Yeah. Yeah. He's just being bratty. He's being bratty. So is your (laughs) stomach okay? Yes. Are you, are you feeling okay? Yes. Wow. I don't, you're you're a more patient woman than I. I a cat pooping on my bed. I'd have a big issue with that. Uh, I'm, I do may you have thrown him in the bathroom need anything? Night. Yeah, I asked him if he needs anything. He's just saying more attention. So, pay him some attention, and you may want to keep him corralled while you're gone. Okay. You know, if he's doing that, that seems like a a. Uh, sensible thing for from my viewpoint because I wouldn't be want to be washing the sheets and if he's got if he's got that much of an attitude he may need a time out <laughs> yeah he's currently oh. been locked up ever since so, I've, like when I've gone to classes and stuff he's been locked in my bathroom yeah so. good good and then when when you're home with him does he mess on the bed or just when you're gone just when I'm gone and he'll like the past the recent right. time he covered it up like with like he used it as in like the litter box. He covered it up with a blanket, so I didn't oh. notice it until I smelled oh, it geez. when I, I was like laying on the bed oh, and then I heaven's. smelled it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep him corralled while you're gone. Yep. Totally. There you go. All right. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Awesome. Thank you, Julie. Okay. You bet. Bye bye. Ready? Let's go to Susie next. Hi, Suze. Hello. Oh, hi, Julie. How are you? Hi, Suze. I'm well. How are you? I'm I'm great. Thanks. Thanks for taking my call. I just love I love listening to your show. You're welcome. And um, 
I guess I would just ask if there's anything that you can do to send some healing. I finally started taking that medication that I asked you about, you know, many times whether you thought I needed to take that self and you would said yes for the lupus. And so I'm taking it. And I guess just wondering if you see anything you can do to help with inflammation or how, how things see, how things seem when you look at mine. Sure. Body. Please tell everybody where you're calling in from. Oh, from the San Francisco Bay Area. San Francisco. All right, Susie, here we go. You know how this works. Susie is a mm-hmm. longtime listener. She's been with us since the beginning, I think, Suze, haven't you? Yeah, long time. I'm not sure when the beginning was, Pretty close. but I, I long love time. your show and I would listen every week. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God love you. Thank you for Thank you for your support. I sound like a politician, and I'm not. All right, <laughs> laser beams heading out to you. Got you. Yeah, you're looking inflamed still. Uh, getting that calm down. Inflammation. Everybody looks like red fog on body parts, and so I use anti-inflammatory energy to get it calmed down. And so, Susie, you're being drenched in royal blue. Uh, anti-inflammatory energy. It's the color blue that's inside the refreezable ice packs that you get at the drugstore or the doctor's office. And Mm -hmm. so getting that calmed down. So you've just started on a new medication for your lupus. Is that what I heard you say? Yeah, last Friday. And um, because of the inflammation got really bad in my hands for the first time ever. And I guess I have a question of if you can tell me what's going on with my tongue, because the doctor wants to send me to a specialist at UCSF because my tongue, like I wake up and it has like cuts and sores and I know I have Sjogren, so I, you know, get dry mouth, but I don't know if it's something else. I know that I had to take um, that nystatin, you know, for um, thrush because of the, mm-hmm. the, lup- uh, the lupus uh, prednisone, they had me up to 20 milligrams. But I'm just wondering, do you see what's oh, going geez. on with the tongue? And do you think it's in my best interest to see that specialist at UCSF? Or I just don't have any clue. The, do- uh, the specialist I, I, about have, the tongue didn't know in my town. Have you been eating sugar, Suze? Yes. Are you eating <laughs> any sugar? Eat sugar? Yeah. Yeah. Avoid the sugar. That's the first thing that came up when you were telling me about your tongue was lay off the sugar, okay. like completely lay off the sugar, completely lay off everything that's processed. God made it, eat okay. it. If man made it in a factory, do your best to avoid it. Try that for a week or two. I bet your tongue heals and I think you're going to be fine. I, I think it okay. has to do with the medication you're on in your gut and the sugar is just, it's just causing inflammation and causing problems. Okay. So All right. That's what well, I got. So hopefully that will help. And okay. <laughs> Have a great Thanks rest for of calling the in. Night. Thank you. Always love you listening. too. Like Take care. <laughs> Take you care. bet. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Let's go to Sharon next. Hi, Sharon. Hi there, Julie. This is Sharon. I'm calling from Carlsbad, San Diego, California. Well, we got two California in a row here. How about that? <laughs> Sounds like a it. Bit, a little bit spread apart, but both... Both beautiful. Well, thanks for calling in this evening. How are you doing? I am wonderful. I feel so blessed to have the opportunity to talk to you today. Yeah. Yeah. You got a question for me? Yes. I was wondering if you could help um, maybe have Spirit take a look at something for me. I've suffered most of my adult life with endometriosis and fibroids. I... Okay. I've now come to the conclusion that uh, I've been told I need to have surgery. Um, best next step is total mm-hmm. hysterectomy. Surgeon's kind of new to me. Um, I'm having some doubts and some bad feelings, and I know that that's part of the anxiety that I'm projecting. Just wondering if you could take a look at it for mm-hmm. me and kind of look at outcomes and best next steps. Yeah. What are, what are they you. talking about with the fibroids? How, what kind of surgery are they talking about? Um, total hysterectomy, fibroids, endometriosis, combination. I, I'm, mm-hmm. I've probably had about 20 surgeries since I was a kid, and I'm 45 now. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, jeez. 20 surgeries on yeah. your uterus and your fibroids and stuff, or just 20 surgeries yeah. in general? 
Yes, total endometriosis surgeries. Good heavens. Wow. I know. Okay. But so blessed that I can see my right. daughter under fertility. So thankful she's here, 21. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've got you on my radar, Sharon. What what we're doing is we're, we're just doing a healing right now on this. What I'm doing is I'm watching, when I say I, it's spirit working through me and with me. You know, right. I'm not doing it. I'm I'm facilitating it. So what I'm watching happen is I'm watching a laser, laser all the endo outside of your uterus. You got a bunch of it inside, but you got a bunch of it outside too. And so I'm oh, watching that yeah. get lasered. I see the fibroids. You've got a couple that I'm seeing that are called pedunculated. They're on a stem like a mushroom is and mm. stick out from the wall. I don't know if you've seen the x-rays. I'm going to hold you over for the break, Sharon. And then when we come back, okay. we'll finish this healing. So stay Wonderful. with us. Thank Everybody you. stay with us. You're listening to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back, everybody. We had Sharon from San Diego on the phone before we took a quick break. And uh, Sharon, we were talking about your endometriosis and fibroids, and the doctors are talking about perhaps doing a total hysterectomy on you. Is that right? That's right. I actually have a surgery scheduled this month. Okay. All right. Okay. So what I'm doing is I am removing the endometriosis. I'm also removing the fibroids. You have some fibroids that are called pedunculated and they have a stem on them and it looks like a stem that you'd see on a mushroom. You know, you got the cap of the mushroom and then you got the stem of the mushroom. So I've Mm -hmm. used a laser to get those out. And then what I'm doing now is I'm doing a healing on fibrin. Fibrin is a protein that's found in the blood. It helps blood clot. So it's really important. But sometimes we produce too much fibrin. And that's what the basis for fibroids is. And so the protein is coming out of your the walls of your uterus. And it looks like strands from a spider web. You can imagine that. Mm-hmm. And it's wrapping right. into kind of a cocoon pattern. And while it's doing that, I'm going to do a DNA healing on you. So you're, you're going to be all set for this surgery, Ooh. girl. I mean, you're going to breeze <laughs> through it by the time we're done with you here on this, you know, Love Thursday it. night. So DNA healing, two strands of DNA have come out of a chromosome. And uh, they look like pieces of paper that you'd see in a fortune cookie with the fortune written on it. And they have four, a combination of four letters, ATCG. Those stand for nucleic mm-hmm. acids, and they are what make up DNA. And DNA is the recipe that tells the cells how to behave. So your cells are a little out of whack, and they're producing extra fibrin, which is what causes fibroids. Like that. It, have you ever seen a documentary on a, a silkworm? before where the, you see the strands that it winds into its cocoon and then you know and then it emerges as a butterfly if it makes it that far yes. that's what this looks right. like to me so I've Make done that sure. both strands of DNA have been resequenced and they've snapped back into the chromosome and back into your body so that will help a lot the, you're yes. you're feeling uncomfortable about the surgeon or the surgery or both I guess he's new to me. I'm, you know, kind of, okay. I come, I go off feelings a lot. I know um, sure. intuition, things like that. And I can't get a feel either way if this is the right next step or if it's just anxiety, mm-hmm. you know, fear of death. You have a, you know, we have a daughter. We, us moms kind of feel that way sometimes. I don't want to project that. So I'm kind of yeah. trying to, trying to yeah. get rid of that feeling, but I just, thought I'd, I'd get your insight on what you think as far as the surgery goes. Is I'm it getting yes up? on the hyster. I'm getting yes on the surgeon. I'm getting, I'm getting all green lights all the way through. Woo! Yeah. And, Love it. Thank you. And, and the thing is, you're now pay attention to hormones. You want to get on bioidentical yeah. hormones right away because it's going to throw sure. you into menopause and that's not, not going to be fun. So you Great need to get on that yeah. before you go into the surgery. 
right? Oh, Get, before? You know, look that up, bioidentical hormones. Go yeah. to Dr. Okay. Northrup, N-O-R-T-H-R-U-P.com, Dr. Northrup. Already com. there. Love her. And <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll look you want to take care Thank of that because you so you're, you're going to be miserable much. otherwise. <laughs> Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Good luck. Let us know how Thank you do. You. Shoot me an email or call that. back in. Okay, you'll do you great. Bet. You'll Thank do great. You. It's already oh, happened you. energetically. So You're good. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Bye. All righty. Hang in there. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. You bet. Let's go to Paul next. Hi, Paul. Hi, Julie. Hi, Paul. How are you? Hi. Fine. Hi. Good. Hi. Where are you calling from? Where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm in uh, Southern California, San Dimas, to be exact. Oh, my gosh. So now we have three California calls in a row. That's hilarious. <laughs> I know. I was thinking oh that gosh. the last time. You said there's two. Now it's going to be three, probably four after that. But. No, it's going to be three. Terrific. Well, welcome. <laughs> you got a question for me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, I'm calling regards kind of like what you did with Sharon and Joe last week. I, I called in last week. Um, I listened to some recent podcasts of yours as well, you know, get more familiar with what you do and um, appreciate the love and the healing services you do for me and others, uh, for others. So. Oh, thanks. You're, you're my, it's really my honor and privilege. And plus it's fun too. So yeah, I enjoy yeah. it. You got a question for I me? Imagine. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's personal. My my personal. I was just maybe head to toe, um, kind of check me out. And uh, like I said, uh, I've had some re- recent years some medical issues. I have an ongoing kind of like issue with hypertension and neurop. I have mm-hmm. peripheral neuropathy, neuropathy, and they're like that. Okay. Okay. Hypothyroidism. But I I try to take. They give me meds, but also try to take. Medic, uh, holistic um, or natural stuff as well. So I try to do what mm-hmm. I can. And... Okay. Okay. Let me get you on my radar. Here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, heading out to you on the left coast. I know right where you are. I used to live in LA for a long time. And you know what? Something funny, Paul. I called on hospitals when I first moved there. I was a hospital supply rep, so I know LA better than most people that have lived there all their lives. Because I had to go to all the hospitals, and that was before GPS. I was using a map, Thomas yeah, Brothers you're map like a, book, a walking, to find everywhere. <laughs> I'm telling you. Was, you tell me a city, and I'll tell you what hospitals close by. Even now, I know, I know after the, all these years, I know. So- yeah, I've, I've, I know more of the suburbs than the actual city, but um, you yeah. think I'd know more after living here for 51 years but, <laughs> about the cities. I know. I know. Yeah. Well, everybody stays in their bubbles. Okay, got you. Yeah, yeah you look inflamed. All right, what I'm doing is um, cleaning out your vascular system. So imagine a little corkscrew that's spinning very fast. I'm in your left carotid artery in your neck first. That's spinning. I'm doing the right. I'm coming down your abdominal aorta and into your femoral arteries. I'm going to work on you on the break, Paul, so stay with us. Everybody, we'll be right back and we'll get an update on Paul. You're listening to the Ask Julie Ryan Show, so we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Before the break, we were talking with Paul from the Los Angeles area, and Paul's got high blood pressure and some vascular issues, it sounds like. Right, Paul? Hello. Yeah, you've got some vascular issues going on and some high blood pressure. Inflammation, and I guess it's a myriad of things. Yeah, I wish doctors haven't really told me exactly, you know, the, the, the core of it all, but they, you know, they find the symptoms, but... And um, but they just, okay. I don't see they get they don't seem getting to the core of the issues, unfortunately. Okay. Couple of things. What I did was I worked on you over the break, Paul. And um, one thing in particular, do you have a by any chance close by? A who? You have a pen, pen and a paper. Do you have a pen and a paper? Oh yeah, I have a pen and paper. Okay. I want to give you a website and a book to look up. 
The website okay. is Zona, Z as in zebra, O-N-A dot com. Go to mm-hmm. Zona dot mm-hmm. com. And it's a device that you can use to help regulate your blood pressure. And it reminds me of a video game control that you hold in your hand that the kids use, you know, when they're playing video games. And what mm-hmm. it does is it is it helps regulate the uh, the expansion and the contraction of the vascular system. And I have many clients around the world who've tried it and they've gotten off their blood pressure medication in short order. So tr- so look that up, the Zona Plus. It's Z O N A dot com. Mm-hmm. And then I want you mm-hmm. to look up a, a book called Why We Get Sick. Why we get sick, and it's by a uh, a PhD named Ben Bickman, Ben like Benjamin B I K M A N, and read mm-hmm. that book, and it's going to talk to you about what causes high blood pressure, what causes the inflammation, and all of that. It's really remarkable. If you don't have time to read the book, go to YouTube, look up his name. He's done a whole bunch of interviews, and you can get the gist of the book from YouTube. Okay. So I believe well, both of those things will help you. Bickman, B-I-K-M-A-N, Ben Bickman. Yeah, and I hope that I uh, helps you feel better. What I've done is I've cleaned out your vascular system, so hopefully that will help you feel better. I really appreciate it, Julie. Thanks Thank for you. calling. You bet. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. You're right. You too. Bye. Goodbye. All righty. Let's go to... Let's go to, I'm looking for Josie next. Here we go. Hi, Josie. Hello. Hi, Josie. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome. I'm How sorry, are I just you? took myself off speaker. <laughs> um, oh, good. I'm from Please Bandon, tell everybody Oregon. where you're located. Bandon, Oregon. Oregon. Okay, terrific. Wonderful. Do you have a question for me? Yes, um, I'm calling on behalf of my nephew. His name is Jacob. He's 26 uh-huh. years old, and he's severely autistic. And okay. He, his parent, they live in uh, Toronto area, and he has mm-hmm. been. Uh, he is now exhibiting some um, behaviors, self-injuring behaviors, where. All he does is hit himself like hundreds of times a day in the face, and they have oh they go. So he's hurting himself every day. Is what I'm trying to get at. He's hurting mm-hmm. himself. He cannot communicate. He's not verbal. He he is he does mm-hmm. make sounds, so they know what he mm-hmm. what he um, you know how he com- they do know how to communicate with him through the sounds and an occasional word. I would like to know, they've tried everything on this boy. They have put him on every med known to man. <laughs> well, not every med, mm-hmm. but, you know, for psychotic stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically what I want to know is, like an animal, what is he trying to say? He uh, he is trying to communicate something with this um, violent behavior against himself, which has been going on for 11 years. What I did was I connected to him while you were talking, and what I got was he's saying, I need help, I need help, I need help, I need help. And I would, have you heard of Daniel Amen, A-M-E-N, Dr. Amen? No. All right, go to Amen, no. like amen at the end of a prayer. Go to Amen Clinics, plural, dot com, amenclinics.com. They've got a facility in Manhattan. And I would get him there if you can. They do remarkable things with brains. They will do spec scans and they have remarkable uh, results in healing brains. So uh, at least it's going to help with the the symptoms. You want to have you want to have your family get what's called a SPECT scan, S P E C T scan. And what that does, Josie, is it shows the parts of the brain that light up with certain activities, and that's the missing link. Because the CT scans and the MRIs and stuff just show the brain structurally. You want to have a SPECT scan done 
if he was my child, I would get him to Amen Clinics. I would at okay. least get them on the phone and see if there's someone in Toronto with whom they can consult and work, collaborate to help right. your nephew. So amenclinics.com. That okay. would be the, the main step I would go to. Yeah, so, so I hope that helps. He's asking for help, right? Asking for help. He's trying to get their mm-hmm. attention. He needs help. He keeps saying, I need help. 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 It's like there's a tape playing in his brain that doesn't stop right and and those guys can can they can help him the doctors at Amen clinics so that would be my suggestion okay. thank you all righty so thanks for calling you're so welcome take okay. care bye-bye. bye-bye all right let's go to janet next hi janet hi julie i am calling from How are you? Antioch, california Oh, of course you are. <laughs> this is a California <laughs> night. How funny. Oh, my uh, yeah. gosh. I, I'm in well, between welcome. San Diego and, and San Francisco, so I'm kind of right dab in the know. middle of them both almost. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, I know you are. Well, wonderful. Well, thanks for joining us this evening. Do you have a question for me? I certainly do. I want to know... You kind of sort of know about my background. Will I ever get back all that has been stolen from me? Okay, so I may know some things, but all of our listeners don't know. So please give them a brief synopsis of what to what you're referring. Okay, well, <laughs> this doesn't really have to do with what I was speaking about as things being stolen, but I'm basically vir- virtually blind. I don't see anything. I see the difference between mm-hmm. light and day, but that's about it. I see nothing uh, physically. All I see is nothing but blur. So um, in my life, because of a wonderful lawyer, um, took everything that I had, and um, I have gotten nothing back, and so I'm just wondering if I'll ever get anything back. Anything back from the lawyer, you mean, as far as money? As far as my, yeah, my inheritance, because that was basically my life, and my whole family paid Mm -hmm. For this life that I have now, and I'm the only one left, left in the mm-hmm. family. So, mm-hmm. what I'm getting, Janet, at this moment in time is a no. Now, yeah, I didn't things that are future are fluid. <laughs> things that are future are fluid. There are a whole bunch of variables that come in that to affect an outcome. That's the answer I'm getting right now as we're speaking. I don't edit any information that I get because I believe who am I to decide what you need to hear. I'm just the messenger. So I'm getting a no. That can change okay. tomorrow. It can change next week. It can change next month, next year. Right now I'm getting a no. So if you need to change course to try and do something different to get your inheritance back, you may want to look at that because right now what I'm getting is a no. But again, that doesn't mean that it's going to be permanent, permanently no. Does that make sense? And that certainly does. May I make a comment to Sharon okay. Sharon, that you had on the phone earlier? She was talking sure. about yeah. um, having possible surgery. Um, at 22, yeah. I had the same surgery she had. And so... Um, mm-hmm. I have lived since 22 without uh, anything but one ovary, and that got me through uh-huh. until uh, 2009. And that 2009, they removed the other ovary because it also had a tumor. So um, okay. it's possible. It's um, And she has a child. She's very yeah, blessed yeah. and fortunate. So oh, yeah. I'm so very happy yeah. for her. So, um, and yeah. of course, this is all due to my good old <laughs> lifestyle of being a diabetic from right. the age of two. So that yeah. was my blessing. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. And okay. I'm like, right? So, <laughs> so, 
So thank you very well, kindly. Well, Julie. Janet, I, I would appreciate your I, input. You bet. You bet. And I would I would uh, consider taking a different tact tactic. You know, maybe do something else because I'm getting a no on the inheritance thing right now. So good luck. Thanks for calling. Okay. Everybody, we are going to take a quick break and we'll be right back and we'll get some more callers on and see what their questions are. You're listening to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. So stay with us. We're going back to the phones and our next caller is Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Julie. I'm from Rinkin, Georgia. And I Georgia. do have a question. All right. All right. My soulmate was diagnosed with yes, Alzheimer's in 2009, and he is presently in transition. Mm-hmm. He hasn't eaten anything since last mm. Thursday, nor drunk anything since last Thursday. And my question is, can you check in on him and tell me what stage he's in and what is keeping him from letting go? Yeah. And if we have time, can you tell me how I can see this procession when he finally leaves? Yes. Yes. What's what's his name? Is this your husband, Claudia? Is, well, we're not married, but we've been together for over 20 years. And his name is Francis. Okay. And what's his name? Francis. Okay. Francis. Like St. Francis. Okay. Does no, he go by no Francis thing. or does he go by Frank? Or? <laughs> no, he goes by Francis. Okay. <laughs> Okay, terrific. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to you and then from you to Francis. All right, got you. He is in phase nine of 12 of the 12 phases of transition. And what we're talking about, everybody, is when we're dying, we go through these of transition, everybody goes through them, whether we die instantly, like in the case of a homicide or suicide, or whether we die over a prolonged period of time, days, weeks, months, even years. Some people take years to die, Claudia. And it's a configuration that I see of angels and deceased loved ones whose spirits surround the person. So in phase nine, Claudia, and all these illustrations are on my website, by the way julieryan.com and you can just go to the the 12 phases and yeah I'm telling everybody else that's listening in case they're not familiar with them Uh, so so what's happening is there's angels that are in a, a very wide horseshoe at the bottom of his bed lots of spirits that are in the room his spirit is out of his body it's hanging onto the top of his head it looks like a cartoon caption bubble and there are angels on either side of it So let's ask him the three questions I always ask. Francis, are you ready to go? Yes. Are you in pain sometimes? What do you need just just to go? He's saying he doesn't need anything. He's just ready to go. So you have hospice involved? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what, and, and they're, they're in and they're helping you and they're helping keep him comfortable, I would imagine. Well, they come and go because he's still at home. So, right. you know, Good. we had a nurse here Good. this afternoon. Is, She'll be here. She'll be back in the morning. Mm-hmm. Is he able to communicate with you, Claudia? Not really. Okay. All right. He's close. He's very close. The you know the yeah, he's, know. In, he's in the last third. Yeah. Yeah. So he's he's all we all decide when we go, where we go, how we go, who's with us when we go. So just keep that in mind. It's all unfolding perfectly. And it's so hard on those of us that are there on watch, isn't it? It's just heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. Have you read my book yet, Angelic Attendance? Um, not yet. I only got introduced to you last week on, uh, woo-hoo, um, with Michael. Oh, Michael okay. Sandler. Michael yeah. Sandler. Okay. You may want to download the audio book or, uh, or get the other book, get, you know, the paperback or the digital copy yeah. and read it. It's going to give you a lot of comfort and it's going to, I think, and it really informational and comforting, and the stories in it are really heartwarming. And I think it will help you get through this. So you may want to get oh, a, get. A I know copy I'm going to get through it. I know I'm going to get through it. I'm just 
you know, that you told me that there's nothing that he's waiting for is kind of comforting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure we had a soul contract. I'm getting contract, that again this I just evening. wanted to make sure I fulfilled my part and he isn't hanging around and suffering because I screwed up somehow. Oh, well, I got a news flash for you, girl. You're not that powerful. <laughs> you can't. We can't do that. We can't affect anybody else, regardless of how they go. It's uh, the person who's dying decides all of that. So I hate to burst your yeah. bubble, but you're not that powerful. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, no. Well, was, hang in there. Um, Look I for the little miracles. Just hanging on so that I could learn that last lesson. And I didn't want to be the cause of that. Nah, 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 nah. But all the time we've been talking, he's no, had no, his no. eyes wide like open again. and looking at me, which is kind of different. So, um, yeah. Good. Anyway, is there good. is there a fast so, way I so can learn how to see So look for the little miracles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Close your eyes and at, and have yeah. that have those diagrams with you, and just ask. Okay. Who's here in the room with him? His parents are there, lots of other deceased loved ones. He's surrounded by angels. It's it's all that's why I want you to get the book. That's gonna help you a lot. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually right. well, downloaded hang in there, look the, for the little um, miracles the along the way. Okay, yeah. terrific. All righty. Well hang in there. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to hang. Thanks for calling. Our, You're bad. When you get to the end of your room. Okay. All righty. Hang on. And Dr. Bye-bye. Almonds, I got his whole bunch of stuff. Change your brain, change your life. Awesome. Yes, yes. So, um, Dr. Thank Amen. you so much. Yes, he's Bye-bye. amazing. You're welcome. All righty. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's go to Jeremy next. Hi, Jeremy. Hello. How are you? Great, thanks. I'm calling from Arlington, Texas. Terrific. Where? Arlington, Texas? Is that what you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay, terrific. Well, thanks for joining us this evening. Do you have a question for me? I do. I wanted to see if you could do a healing on my friend, Susan. Sure. Your friend Susan, what's going on with her? She was diagnosed with a very severe case of COVID-19. And on okay. top of that, she's also been, um, it's also turned into some pneumonia um, in her lungs. Okay. And things are not looking real good right now. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yep. I'm going to connect to you and from you to her. Yeah, she's in phase three of 12, of the 12 phases of transition. So she is, uh, her spirit's out of her body. It's holding on to the top of her head, like what I was just talking with Claudia about, Jeremy. And it looks like a cartoon caption bubble. And she has angels around her in a circle. And so let's ask her some questions. Are you ready to go? No. Are you in pain? Yes. Uh, what do you need to get out of this place? She said to get out of this place. So, uh, yeah, go on my website, askjulieryan.com and look up the 12 phases of transition. Jeremy, it doesn't mean she's going to pass, but she's in the dying process right now. So I hope that uh, helps give you some information. Thanks for calling in. Everybody, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll get more people on and see what their questions are. So stay with us. You're listening to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is the Ask Julie Ryan Show, and I'm Julie, your host. And we do this show every Thursday night at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, and 5 Pacific. The call-in number is 712-775-7035, and the access code is 483-620-POUND. Now, this information is available on my website, AskJulieRyan.com, and in the show notes anywhere that you download podcasts. You can download also on YouTube and Alexa. 
Please remember to subscribe and leave a review at ratethispodcast.com forward slash Julie. Again, that's ratethispodcast.com forward slash Julie. And when you do that, that enters you into a drawing for a free one-hour session with me, valued at a couple hundred bucks. So you may be the lucky winner. You never know. Let's see. What else? Call-in details on Thursdays can also be found on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Everything's under Ask Julie Ryan on my social media. And we post a reminder to call in the day of the show, and it has the call-in numbers. While you're on my website, AskJulieRyan.com, be sure to sign up for my weekly newsletter. It's a question somebody has submitted online, and then I answer it. And in the body of the email is, guess what? call in information. So we're trying to make it easy on you. Also, when you're on my website, please schedule an appointment with me. And then we'll have a whole hour to talk about whatever you want to discuss. And it can be a multitude of things. It doesn't have to be just medical or just you have a loved one who's dying or you want me to scan a pet or you want to do past lives. We can do anything and everything that we can get in in an hour. And it makes it really fun when we do that. So we're, we're going in blowing during that hour and it's terrific uh trick when you're scheduling a private appointment with me i'm out a couple of months on my calendar get on my calendar and then when you get your confirmation email there'll be a reschedule button on the bottom periodically click on that and it will show you when people have rescheduled and oftentimes earlier appointments end up becoming available. So just whenever you're led, whenever you think, oh, I'm going to check and see if Julia has anything earlier, just click on that reschedule button. So save that confirmation email. So everything you need to know can be found at AskJulieRyan.com. One other thing, my class, Angelic Attendance, which I teach quarterly, and I limit it to 12 people, in the class, I started April last week. It's fabulous. We have 12 really fantastic, extraordinary July is full. I have six places left for October. So if you're thinking of taking it and you want to take it this year, get in on the October class because it's going to fill in the next couple of months, long before October happens. And uh, and then you can learn to do all the stuff that I do because, you know, I'm a businesswoman who learned how to do woo-woo and I'm a buffet of psychicness. And you could be too. The only prerequisite for my class is you got to speak English. So you're not listening to this show if you can't speak English. So I think you're probably covered on that. Okay, this week we got a question from Yvette in Yorktown, Virginia. And she asked, hi, Julie. I'm pretty sure my daughter Sophie is an empath. She seems to absorb people's illnesses and or feelings, which then manifest in her. Recently, my aunt in Texas was diagnosed with diverticulosis. And now Sophie, who lives in Virginia, is having trouble eating and is losing weight. What can my daughter do to keep from taking on these symptoms? Is there a technique she can utilize? Thank you for any assistance you can give. And here's my response. Hi, Yvette. Thanks for your fascinating question about your daughter, Sophie. I love that name, Sophie. I think it's so cute. Empaths are known as people who are extremely sensitive to others' feelings and emotions, sometimes to the detriment of themselves, and are more common than one might imagine. That is, empaths are more common than we might imagine. The word empath comes from the Greek em, E-M, which means in, and pathos, which means feeling. All this translates to, quote, feeling into others' feelings, and that's what empaths do. This very real phenomenon can activate a person's nervous system, causing a plethora of symptoms, oftentimes mimicking another's symptoms, like what Sophie's got going on with her aunt in Texas. The aunt's got GI issues. Sophie's got them now, even though she's not with her. She's on the other side of the country. I went on to say, in order to get some information about Sophie, I energetically connected to her and asked permission to scan her. She said yes. Once I got Sophie on my radar, that means I could see in my mind's eye, in my head, that all of her chakras, which is another word for an energy center, were blown open. The word chakra means wheel or disc in Sanskrit. So imagine a chakra as a spinning wheel of energy. Everyone has seven main chakras in their body, starting at the top of their head and ending in the pelvis at the base of their spine. These chakras correspond to bundles of nerves, 
major organs, and areas of our energetic body that affect our emotional and physical well-being. In addition, each chakra has a filter that keeps the person's energy in and other people's energy out. These filters look like clear contact lenses to me and can get blown off with one or more traumatic events. I replaced all of Sophie's missing chakra filters. Another way that I see filters for chakras get blown off is sometimes when people have been on a spiritual retreat, like an ayahuasca retreat, I'll see that some of their chakras are all blown off. It, the filters, it's very rare that I see all of the filters blown off, and that's what I saw with Sophie. I went on to say, furthermore, we all have energy cords that connect us to other people. These cords are called bioplasmic streamers and resemble a laser beam when connecting to someone and a thin umbilical cord when removing them. Sophie had a lot of these cords, these streamers that I subsequently removed. So you know how I always say, okay, here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home Alabama. It looks like a thin laser that's coming and it's hooking into you wherever you are anywhere in the world. And then at the end of the show and at the end of a consult, when I'm talking to somebody on a private appointment, I will pull it out. And when it when it comes out, it comes out of my solar plexus and it looks like a thin umbilical cord. That's what it looks like to me. Is that what it looks like to everybody? Probably not, but that's how I see it. Okay, and then I ended with psychologist Dr. Bo Forbes specializes in mind-body medicine and is known for working with empaths. Sophie may want to investigate her website, which is beauforbes.com, B-O-F-O-R-B-E-S.com, to see if any of Dr. Forbes' trainings resonate with her. In the meantime, some simple suggestions to help Sophie calm her nervous system can include yoga, meditation, and even a hot bath. Hope these healings and information help. So Sophie was, she really had a lot of energy leaks and she had a whole lot of energy cords hooking at, you know, that were still connected to her body. And some schools of thought say you run your hand in front of your body to disconnect the cords, to cut the cords. We still got part of the cords still in you from somebody else. So I'm a fan of pulling them out. And uh, the saying, well, he hasn't cut the cord from his mother yet. That's where that comes from. It's these bioplasmic streamers. And if I was in a physics lab and they were monitoring the energy that I was using to connect with everybody who calls in tonight, they would be able to detect the bioplasmic streamer that I'm using to hook into the person that I'm scanning. So thanks so much for submitting that question, Yvette. And I, I hope that helps, Sophie. All right, let's go back to the phones and let's see who's next. We've got, uh, uh, let's see, I had Kathy here somewhere. Kathy, there you are. All right, I found you on my dashboard. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Julie. How are you? Hello, hello. Uh, Hi. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm calling from um, outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Terrific. I can see that on your area code. <laughs> but these days with cell phones, you know, you can, you don't know if somebody's yeah. in the same area code or not where they originally right. got their cell phone. So, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, so I don't assume yeah. anymore like we used to. Well, thanks right, for joining yeah. us this evening. Do you have a question for me? Yes, I do. I'm not sure if you'll be able to help me. Um, I, my sister, uh, my younger sister, her name is Chris. Um, we don't know uh-huh. where she is. Um, we haven't, um, the last time we heard from her was last June. Um, she's been dealing with some, um, physical and emotional issues. And, um, it's to the point where I, I don't know if she's, you know, here or in spirit Um, I actually have a private investigator working on it and haven't been able to get any clue as to where she is and just very concerned about her safety, her Mm well-being, and Mm -hmm. not sure if you can help with that or not. Yeah. Kathy, what I'm getting is that she is still alive. Let's see if we can connect to her. And get some information sure. from her. Uh, Thank so you. here comes my laser beam, what I was just talking about. Here comes my laser beam uh-huh. from Birmingham, heading up to you in the, the city of brotherly love. 
And yeah, yes. uh, got you. All right. Yeah. And then I've got Chris. Chris, what's going on? Where are you? She says I'm in, she said I'm in the vicinity. Okay, what's that mean? Are you near Philadelphia? She's saying she's in New Jersey, which is oh. right next door, right? It's close by. Right. Uh, sure. Are you okay? Yes. Are you do you have a place to live? She's saying sometimes. Okay. Are you getting help from someone that you know? She's saying she's meeting people. Do you oh, want your family okay. to help you? She's saying not right now. So okay. I get that she's still alive and she's somewhere in New Jersey. Um, um, wow. The sense that I'm getting, Kathy, is that she's not that far over the border. Right. Oh, okay. From where you are. Okay. Yeah. So I hope that okay. helps. Everybody, we're yeah. going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll get more callers on. Stay with us. You're listening to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. We're back. This is the Ask Julie Ryan Show. I'm Julie, your host, and we're going to go back to the phones. And our next caller is Monica. Hi, Monica. Hi there. How are you? Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. I'm well. Can How you are me? you? Yes, Hi. ma'am. Okay. We are here. Where are All you right. located? Where uh, are you located? I am actually in Hamilton. I'm in Ontario. Hamilton in Ontario. Oh, okay. Canada. In Canada. In Germany, I think we have a little bit of a lag. Wonderful. Okay. Um, the reason yeah. for my call tonight is um, I've never had any issues with my period. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, mm -hmm. on the dot all the time. However, right now, it's been two and a half weeks late, and I'm not pregnant for sure. So, um, okay. and, it's, it's, <laughs> and I don't know what to think. And I'm really body aware too. So How, young are, you? How young, young are you? How young are you? How young are you? Okay. 42. All right. So let me get you on my radar. Let's see what's going on with that. Oh, by the way, Dr. Christian Northrup is going to be on the show May 20th. And yes, I we're going to be talking your, about her revised mm -hmm. book. Yeah. So that's going to be really exciting that she's going to be on and we'll we'll chat for the first few minutes and then we're going to be taking a bunch of calls. So this, she's a she is the fairy godmother of women's health and if you have any questions about menopause or perimenopause or any anything about girly parts, boy, that's the show for you to call in on and I will do my best to get as many people on as I can. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Let me get you on my radar here. All right, got you. Uh, yeah, you're in a little bit of perimenopause here, my girl. Uh, I'm going to shoot some energetic estrogen into you and uh, have you perk up a little bit. Perimenopause is, menopause is when you've had your last period a year ago. You haven't had a period in a year. Mm -hmm. And perimenopause can last 10 or 15 years. And mm -hmm. so... You're, you've begun the process. You want to look into bioidentical hormones and also the other herbs that can help you. You know, if you start having symptoms and Dr. Northrup, she's the place to go. And it's drnorthrup, N-O-R-T-H-R-U-P dot com. Go on her website. Mm -hmm. She's got, she's just the, you know, she wrote the book on everything yeah. about women's health. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think are you're. There, I think you're. You have entered the perimenopause, which is a good thing. I think so, eh? Unless mm -hmm. you want to. Do you want to have more babies? I have not had children. I would have. I would like to. Okay. All right. Well, I think you. You better. You better increase your practicing. <laughs> you want to have a baby? <laughs> practice, 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 my girl. <laughs> So no, no, All right. no yeah. reason to worry though. No, 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 no reason to worry. But you may want to check with your doctor about your hormone levels, and see what they can do to help you if you want to try and conceive. 
I would I would get on Got the it. stick, practice and and okay. see if you need you may need some other assistance. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Th- thanks for calling. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, funny. All right, let's go to Nancy next. Hi, Nancy. Hi, how are you doing? I'm great. How Hello. are you? I'm I'm pretty Hello. good. I get uh, Hi, I'm pretty good. Um, I spoke with you about a month ago and after listening to that, I feel like I when you mentioned um um stem cell last week, I was thinking, God, I need to be sheep sheep dipped in stem cell sometimes, I think. <laughs> But anyhow, um, oh. I'm having, having, well, there are all these weird things that happen to me, and then they go away, then they come back. But um, I think I mentioned I had a heart attack in October, and they put in two stents, and I cannot mm-hmm. seem to regulate my sleeping back to normal. I wasn't being able to do it before, but it's gotten worse, where I'm awake for, at night, and I, if I don't go to sleep during the day, I, get, I feel sick. And I'm also gaining weight, and I'm not doing that much different. And um, one minute I feel um, like nothing bad's going to happen, and then the next minute I feel like everything bad's going to happen. And I, I don't, I don't know if it's just not being able to fix my sleep, awake asleep cycle, or if there's something else going mm-hmm. on because they want me to monitor to make sure I'm not gaining water weight or and I keep getting the GI gas pains in my back, and I don't know. No. Oh. Okay. All right. Please tell everybody where you're located. Oh, I'm in uh, Bedford, Massachusetts. So I know a lot of people in California. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> When I lived in LA and I had to fly to Boston, I thought, huh, you know, that's that's about the furthest I can get. Well, Bay, Maine and all of that too. But oh. I thought that's a long flight from one corner to the other. You know, going on yeah. a diagonal. Oh, that's funny. All right, so I'm going to get you on my radar. You know how this works. Here we go. All right, got you. Yes, you look like you're retaining water. Uh, did they change your meds or something? No, um, I'm supposed to take an, a, a pill if um, I find... You're supposed to press your bone in your leg to see if it dimples, and if it does, then I need the um, the something called ferrosamide to help eliminate water, but maybe it's working. Maybe I, mm-hmm. I, I sort of work contrary sometimes to some medicines. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. What I'm doing is I'm I'm flushing the water out of your system. It's coming out through the bottom of your feet energetically. And are you you're on medications now, I know, with the stents. So you want to yeah. Google I'm the name of, of the medicine and NNT. NNT stands for number needed to treat. The higher the number of people that need to take a medicine, the less effective it is. Look up your medications. I think you're having a side effect to medicines. And I think that's exacerbating your sleep issues, too. So hopefully that will help. NNT plus the medicine. And then that will give you a lot of information. Stay with us, everybody. We're going to take a quick break. You're listening to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. We've got Erica next on the phone. Hey, Hi, Erica. How are you, girl? Hello. I'm good, good. Hello, I'm hello. Once again, calling from your hood, Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Well, yeah, I was Columbus, but close enough. My my state, yep. my hood of my state, where I was where I was born and raised. Yes, yeah. yes. Go I drove by the Fairborn exit, yeah. and I thought of your. It was it your brother or your cousin? My cousin, Michael Foy. Okay, he's got yeah. the Halloween my parents, stores. My yeah. parents know who he is. <laughs> oh, terrific! Oh, good. He's a yeah. really nice guy. You'd like him. Yeah. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. Okay. Well, wonderful. Well, 
I have a question for you. I have been wanting to find the answer for for six years now. Um, I'm 36 oh, years no old. no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm done waiting now. <laughs> um, okay, so All when right. I turned 30, my, um, my skin started breaking out horribly just around my chin. And I'm 36 now. So it's been going on for six years. I've tried being vegan, juicing, vegetarianism. I've just recently added red meat fish back into my diet. Nothing is working. So I'm wondering, okay, is there something, there's something going on internally. I'm just, I can't figure it out. Okay. Have you done the gut biome test yet, Erica? I have not. Is that ringing a bell? Have you heard me talk about it? I have heard of a gut biome test, yes. I did recently. Okay. Gut biome a... test is a fancy name for a poop test, basically. Oh, okay. And Got it. Uh, if, you, if you send me an email, julie at askjulieryan.com, I'll shoot you a link. Anybody listening, if you want the link, send me an email, julie at askjulieryan.com. And we will send out a link that will give you a little bit of a discount, Erica. And what it's going to do is it's going to check the ecosystem in your gut. When, we ha- when we're having skin issues, it always originates in the gut. Unless, of course, you've rolled around in, in a batch of poison ivy or poison oak or something like that. But most of the time, I was talking to somebody yesterday, a client, and and she said, you know, I only use all natural stuff. And I said, well, you know, poison ivy is natural too, but you're not gonna you're not gonna rub that all over your skin. And she laughed. <laughs> right, and she said, yeah, right. good point. So I'm saying the same thing to you. But what you want to do is you want to do the gut biome test, and it's gonna tell you about the system in your gut, and that's where our immune system is based, Erica. And mm-hmm. food is the best medicine. So. This test will tell you based on the configuration of all the critters in your gut, the viruses and bacteria and all that jazz. It's going to say, here are your superfoods. Incorporate these into your diet. Here are the foods for you to avoid, some of which may be healthy, but they may just Mm -hmm. not be healthy for you. And here's everything else. Eat this a lot. Eat this a little. That would be the first thing I would try. I would. Let's let's do the Erica diet. So that you, we, we know what your superfoods are. And and that's going to help you a lot, I believe. Okay. Perfect. So email right. me, Julie, at AskJulieRyan.com. If you can't remember that, go to my website, AskJulieRyan.com. Click on the Ask Julie button and shoot okay. me an email and we'll, we'll get the links out to Perfect. you and to anybody listening that wants it. So, all right. Awesome. And then report back. Uh-huh. Let us know how you're doing after you get it done. Okay. I sure will. All righty. Thanks, Thanks so for much. calling. All right. Take care. Bye. All righty. Let's go to Donna next. Hi, Donna. Hi. I'm I'm grateful to speak with you? you this evening. Um, good. I'm calling from Richmond, Virginia, and um, I was recent, recently diagnosed with a heart valve that's leaking. So I was wondering. Say that if again. You could... I'm sorry. You cut out for a second. You were. You were diagnosed with what? I'm sorry, say that again for me. Oh, a um, heart valve that's leaking, like it has some backflow to it. Oh, geez. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So I was wondering what you see with that, if you could send some healing my way. And then if you could tell me if there's a visualization I can be looking at, um, you know, that I could do for myself as well, with considering that. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. What What are your doctors saying? Do they want to do surgery and replace the valve? Um, no. Um, what they're saying is that it's like a mild to moderate right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here comes my laser beam. And I, I've done many of these and it's interesting cuz I'm an inventor of surgical devices sold throughout the world Donna and okay. I sold my manufacturing company a few years ago and and so when I'm working on a heart valve I watch an anti reflux valve get put in and that's what we use in manufacturing to keep 
fluid from backflowing, basically. Okay. So I'm watching that valve get a new anti-reflux valve. And it kind of, imagine, uh, you know, my analogies are hilarious at times, but it's just to give you a quick visual of what I'm seeing. Because if you can visualize what I'm seeing, to your point, you want to have something that you can visualize, it's going to help integrate the healing into your body. So imagine a doggy door, you know, where the dog okay. can go in and out and it's kind of a flap. Right. Right. So imagine mm-hmm. a doggy door, but it's it's a valve that's being put in your heart valve. You know, it's like a oh. it's an anti reflex valve is what it's called, and it will keep it from backflowing. Does that make sense? Okay. So picture yeah. a doggy door, that little flap, and mm-hmm. the blood's only going the right direction. Okay. okay. It can't go back. It can't go backwards, and it can only go frontwards. So okay. that's what I just watched happen for you. Great. Yeah. All right. So well, thank you. Can, consider scheduling a private session with me and we'll have a whole hour to work on you. And, okay. um, and then, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just do a, you know, a full tune up and everything. I, I, when I get you for an hour, I can work on your energy field membrane. And that's the most important part of a healing because that's the the membrane that's the container that holds the energy that makes up our body and our spirit. And when there's a leak, it always precedes any kind of medical condition. So consider making an appointment with okay. me and, and we'll, we'll do a deep dive and get you all tuned up. Okay. 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 Well, thank you so much. All righty. All right. You are so welcome. Thanks for calling. All righty. Bye. Okay. Let's see who's next. We've got... Uh, somebody from Las Vegas. Hi, 702 area code. What's your name? Hi, um, Julie, can you hear me? Somebody from, hi. Hi, can you hear me, Julie? I Rose? can. What's your name? This is Rose. Hey. Uh, Say it again. I'm, I'm sorry. I won, I won your, I won uh, the, uh, the for oh the row yeah 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 you know? last week last yeah, week I was just yes today. welcome I just posted your podcast and I heard my name I go oh my god <laughs> I'm so lucky and then you, you get did to row so today. so I'm just gonna give this this time to the other callers because you know I won the drawing anyway so I'll email okay. you okay oh great so you. email me and we'll come up with a date. Of um of a Thank time when we so can get much. together. Yes. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. Bye, Ro. Ro won the free drawing this month. So uh, she heard it on on when she was listening to last week's show. How fun is that? Very fun. All right, let's go to Marion next. Marion. Hello. Hi. I just took off my earpiece. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, good. How are you? Good, good. I'm good, good. Um, I, I have a question. Uh, my mom passed away back back in 1997. Mom passed away. Um, it was kind of a sudden thing. She was 52 and a half. Um, um, and they found later on autopsy that she had a bunch of cancer. And I kept going back and forth into the oh. hospital to see her in between work. And then I thought I'd be able to see her the next morning as she passed before I could see her. And I, that was a devastating year for me. And mm-hmm. I know it's a long time ago, but I still uh, was wondering about how all that happened and why, and was that her time to go? I mean, if, was that what she had planned and if she has any messages for me? Okay. Marion, where are you located? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in Yucca Valley, California, near Joshua Tree. California. Of course. Yep, California. Another one. You know, we've had mostly Californians <laughs> on tonight. Isn't that <laughs> funny? I love it. And and we'll we'll go in kind of in spurts like that where we'll have a bunch of people from the same state on one night, which is a riot. That's but funny. okay. <laughs> so uh, we all decide we all decide where we go, when we go, how we go, who's with us when we go, all of that. And as I was mentioning earlier to Claudia, one of our earlier callers, and she was saying, oh, I just, you know, don't want to hold him back. And, you know, she's not right. that powerful. None of us are. And right. and the, the uh, 
notion that we all have a set time when we're going to die is not what I get from spirit. Because Uh, when we're done exploring and we're done expanding, that's when we go back to heaven and we we cook up another scheme of something we want to come back and we want to explore in our next life. mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. so that's what's going on with that. And we're going to need to take a quick break, Marion. And when we come back, we'll uh, have a little chat with your mama. So hang in there with me. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. After the break, you're listening to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. Welcome back, everybody. We were talking with Marion from California, of course, because today is California Day on the Ask Julie Ryan Show. And Marion, we were talking about your mom passing in uh-huh. when she was 52 of cancer. And, and I know it's so hard for you to think, okay, I didn't get to see her again before she but that's what she chose. And there are some schools of thought that, <clears throat> excuse me, that we, uh, you know, just have a set date or two that we can die. And that's what I understand from spirit. What I understand is it's all in our control. And so often we'll say we're waiting for God to take me. And again, God, God's like, okay, come on, whenever. It's just we mm. decide when we go. And the thing to remember, too, Marianne, I think that really plays into the equation with all of this is time doesn't exist in the spirit world. Time is a human creation. And so Mm. when we think about that, like when we were talking with Claudia earlier, whose partner is dying, and it just feels like it's taking forever. But in the spirit world, since time doesn't exist, it's not even going to be a blip on the radar screen. And it's Mm. hard for us to understand that because we don't have any frame of reference for it. But if you can just remember that, that time didn't exist in the spirit world, and she's around you all the time. So did you have a quick question for her? I just uh, wanted to know if she had anything that she wanted to tell me that I may not know or anything I needed to know. (laughs) You're going to laugh when I tell you this. She's saying make your own barbecue sauce. It's healthier. We were just talking about that during the break. (laughs) So she says make your own barbecue sauce. Doesn't have all that junk in it. (laughs) Was she a chef? Was she a cook? Was she a good cook? Um, yeah, she just cooked basic stuff or yeah. whatever, but so, um, in the later of the year, she had to, you know, her health wasn't too good, so she had breathing problems and stuff, but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, well, I hope that helps. Get a copy of Angelic Attendance, my book, and read it okay. or listen to it. Angelic Attendance, mm-hmm. what really happens as we transition from this life into the next, and it will give you so much information. It's going to give you a lot of comfort, and there are really heartwarming stories in there with fa- about families with whom I've worked, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So I hope that helps. Okay. All right. Thanks for Thank calling. You. Thank you. Uh-huh. Take Bye-bye. care. Bye. Bye. All righty. Let's go to Heather next. Hi, Heather. Hi, Julie. How are you? I'm terrific. You How are you? Good, good. I'm so I can, glad you yes. <laughs> I have a mystery. Yes. Where are you located? Call. I'm in Chicago. All right. Illinois. Are you in California? No, Chicago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Well, that's another C word, at least. It's like California, but it's a C word, right? It feels it's a like C location. California here yeah. in Chicago. <laughs> I talked to my brother over the weekend, and he got to play golf. He was very happy over the weekend. Yeah. He lives in Chicago as well. So, yeah. Well, you got a question for me? Oh, my God, I do. I need your help. Um, I have some kind of mystery illness All right. going on, and I don't know what this is, and I'm hoping you can tell me what's going on. Um. I had an okay. implant put in back in October, and I've had some issues, a dental implant. Um, and in okay. the beginning stages, I had a titanium screw put in. Um, I started having problems mm-hmm. after I finished the mouthwash. I noticed I had a burning sensation mm-hmm. in my mouth, and I wasn't pooping mm-hmm. right anymore. Um, my mouth felt cotton mouth-like. It was dry. Um, I did some research. I thought I had burning mouth syndrome. I went back to uh, the periodontist that did the work. 
he thought, I also thought I had thrush. They couldn't find anything. Um, he couldn't see anything wrong. He did x-rays to make sure that I wasn't having some reaction. Everything seemed to be fine. So he put me on these yeast, you know, like if you have yeast buildup from thrush, like these lozenges, and I took those. Um, I also noticed that I had lost my sense of taste. Um, but once I started mm-hmm. taking the lozenges, everything, within like 24 to 48 hours, everything kind of went back to normal. The only thing that I noticed that mm-hmm. I still had some inflammation on the tip of my tongue, um, and it just seemed mm-hmm. kind of red. It wasn't bothersome. It just was just, I don't remember seeing it before. So as time went on, I started taking and researching myself and taking over-the-counter candida cleanse. Um, supplements, thinking that mm-hmm. that was the issue. Um, that wasn't working. I went back to the periodontist. He also could tell that there was still that redness, and he didn't know what was going on. We thought maybe I had dry mouth, so we tried some things with that. That didn't work. And then around February 24th or 25th, I lost my sense of taste, and I haven't gotten it back since. Okay. Um, I, All right. I I've been working on you just little. for time's sake while you've been talking. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been working on you while you've been talking just because we we've only got a couple minutes left. And what I've done is I've removed the heavy metals out of your system. Uh, you have heavy metal detox. You want to get on some nice statin, N-Y-S-T-A-T-I-N, like New York and Staten Island, nice statin. And it's a pill that you take. You want to take four of them a day for a month. You do have wow. yeast overgrowth, and that will help knock it out. And that's what I believe that's what's going on. I think you're having a, re- a reaction to the the procedure that it does not look inflamed around where the implant is, Heather. Right. But this is coming from your gut. It's your gut. Your gut's I gotten have- whacked as a result of them putting you on antibiotics. So, it so just went crazy. get some nice okay. statin. Tell the doctor, yeah, tell the doctor that you want a prescription for nice statin for at least a month, and it's it's what they give babies for thrush. So it's not like you're asking for opioids, and uh, and they'll give it to you, and do that. So it's really and that a will gut help. issue that is causing the problem with me not being able to. Take it's a gut food. issue from the antibiotics. Yes, I knew it. Yes. I had a feeling because from I the antibiotics that they gave you. Mm-hmm. And heavy mm-hmm. metal detox, because yeah. by yeah. the way, I'm sure you could probably tell, um, I also have a um, stainless steel plate and screws in my right ankle. I had a crazy accident in 2019 mm-hmm. and broke my right ankle. So that and the titanium screw. Um, oh, boy. Am I, so I don't have an allergy yeah. to titanium. Just kind of set you over the edge. Yeah, right. So well, hopefully that'll help. Is- Get some nice statin, and I hope you feel better really soon. All right, everybody, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us and call in next week with your questions. It's always fun to see who's calling and see what your questions are. Obviously, they're across the board. We'll see which what location of the world calls in the most next week. We should run a contest. So you can find everything at AskJulieRyan.com. Till next week, sending you sweet love from Sweet Home, Alabama, and I hope you have a great week. Thanks, everybody. Be sure to follow Julie on Instagram and YouTube at Ask Julie Ryan and like her on Facebook at Ask Julie Ryan. To schedule an appointment or submit a question, please visit AskJulieRyan.com. This show is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be medical, psychological, financial, or legal advice. Please contact a licensed professional. The Ask Julie Ryan Show, Julie Ryan and all parties involved in producing, recording, and distributing it assume no responsibility for listeners' actions based on any information heard on this or any Ask Julie Ryan shows or podcasts.